What is up guys, it's your boy Ty Skids here and today we're playing Car Extra Racing Online. Now I know a lot of people have been, you know, probably noticing my editing quality go down after moving to PC, but that's because for a long time I was trying to find, you know, a decent editor or something, because I've been using VC or VSDC, whatever it's called. It's like this one little editing app. They don't really have too many transitions or effects or anything, but I found a new editor um, so I'm going to start using this new editor and hopefully put out better quality content because, you know, I need to start putting out better content. We got 46k. We're on the road. Well, almost 47k. Like we're about to hit 47k today. We at like what? Right now we sitting at about 46,982. So we need like 18 more people to sub. We have 47,000. So thank you guys for 47k early on an early note but like i said the editing and the quality of the videos is going to go up a tremendous amount over the next year or two years three years however long you know but um so guys in today's video we have the asura m1 aka the toyota gt86 aka the subaru brz aka the scion frs yes it was manufactured by three companies um they all came together on one project and made their own version of this car. So, yeah, there's like three different names. But I believe this version is indeed the Subaru BRZ. Correct me if I'm wrong down below. But like I said, let's get into it. So this is a class four vehicle. You can find this car right here next to the UDM3 and the Samurai 2. Uh, if you guys don't know, I, I tuned the Samurai 2 yesterday. So if you guys need the Samurai 2 tune, go ahead and check that out. Uh, once you have that done, go ahead and click the ultimate mod, grab the car, get the ultimate mod on there. <clears throat> and then you want to go ahead and choose a body kit. The body kits I was thinking just running is like the D Master, Slide Performance, or maybe even the Missile, but I don't know. It's, it's really up to you what body kit you want to run. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I was running because I just low key reset everything. I had those headlights, this front bumper. I think I had what hood? I had this hood right here. I had the stock side mirrors. I had the roll cage in there. I kept that spoiler. I got the carbon fiber tail lights. I kept the same exhaust. I didn't change the seats. The only thing I changed was the steering wheel and the handbrake and the shifter, of course. But yeah, that's everything that I did for the body kit. There's not really too much to change with this kit. I mean, you could just leave it like basically the way it is. The most thing you change is probably like the tail lights. And then if you want to change the seats, you can. And then, you know handbrake shifter and e-brake but with that being said let's go ahead and get into the dyno stand okay so for your suspension your front spring length is going to be 12 rear spring length is going to be 9 front spring stiffness 120 rear spring stiffness 115 front and rear damper fast bump at 27,500 front and rear damper fast rebound at 38,500 front and rear damper bump at 27,250 Front and rear damper rebound at 26,000. Front tail 0 0.40. Rear tail negative 0 0.20. Front camera negative 9, negative 4.92. Rear camera negative 1.03. Front and rear anti roll bar at 20. Caster at 10. Ackerman angle at 30%. Max steering angle at 60 degrees. For the wheels, your front and rear rim diameter are going to be 19. Front and rear tire width at 285. Front tire pressure 170, rear tire pressure 180, front and rear wheel adhesion 120, front wheel track 3, rear base 1, front and rear tire profile 25%. For the engine, you're going to go ahead and turn everything all the way to max. Engine tune up at 5%, max torque at 6,284 revolutions per minute. Your rev limiter is going to be at 8,635 revolutions per minute. Turbocharger, yes. Turbocharger air pressure at 1.5 atmospheric pressure units, or whatever they call that. For the transmission, you can use the, the sequential if you want to. All it does is, like it says, affects transmission and gear shifting sounds. Uh, diff lock ratio is going to be 1.00. Final drive is going to be 3.85. Gear 1 is going to be 3.70. Gear 2 is going to be 1.40. Gear 3 is going to be 1.12. Gear 4 is going to be 1.03. Gear 5 is going to be 0 0.96. And gear 6 is going to be 0 
Now for the brakes, I run the same brake settings on every single car, so if I ever miss out on the brakes, you already know what to do. But the brakes is going to be 3,500, and then, well, brake torque is 3,500, and then your front brake bias is going to be 70%. I'm just trying to see if I could recommend this car for tandems. That's the only reason why I try to like see if I can possibly hit tandems in each car that I see now. Cause you know, everyone always asks like if it can tandem. Everyone already knows that my build's 360 in reverse entry. I haven't done one 360 or reverse entry in this whole video, but if I attempt it, the cars will do it. Cause you know that's just how my cars were built. They're built different. So as you can see there, easy 360. I'm gonna go ahead and try to throw a reverse entry now too go pretty fast about it. I'm going to come this way. Gonna full send it right around the corner. Plane, okay. Not bad, not bad. Like a lot of these shorter cars, they struggle to do 360s and reverse entries because, you know, the momentum doesn't swing that far, like, within the radius of the circle that it's spinning because, you know, the low car weight to the uh, again, this car actually does pretty clean 360s, no matter if it's like like a short car and length or not. Like, it still does it, but you see what I mean? It kind of like loses momentum or whatever, but I mean, it still does it. You just gotta work with it a little bit, but um, the last test I guess we could do is see if we can hit the jump, but I'm actually not gonna end up the video there. I'm gonna see if I can find another lobby with collisions on and actually hit tandems because I wanna see if this car can actually hit some clean tannies, but. But alright, and look, that's gonna end this video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. We're literally 3,000 subs away from 50k. I don't know what we're doing for 50k, but I got something big planned. Probably a really big vlog or some kind of road trip or something crazy like that. But um, we'll see what happens, man. Um, yeah, in today's video, I showed you guys. Wait, let me let me make sure I got the right name. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. All right, so in today's video, I showed you guys the best ultimate drift setup for the Asura M1. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <clears throat> Wait, I got to redo that. Peace. There we go.